consumer finance offers calculations and analysis for auto home and college on auto it provides auto loan amortization comparison leads leads versus buy hybrid break even point what if analysis for college it provides loan consolidation and amortization comparison and what if analysis for home it provides functionality on affordability amortization APR, balloon payment, comparison, cost, duration, qualification, and what if analysis. Auto loan BlackBerry application covers auto loan amortization, comparison, car lease, car lease versus buy, hybrid break even point, and what if analysis. Amortization say MSRP, sales tax title registration this is optional cash rebate this is also optional down payment this field is optional trade in value this field is also optional amount owed on trading this is optional loan term either uh, it can be specified as months or years say three years interest rate three percent and payment frequency can be selected from here we'll leave it at monthly if you would like to make any additional extra payments please supply that now move over to the summary it says the loan amount monthly payment loan term total of payments total of interest number of actual payments savings reduction in term monthly principal and interest you can actually email this data to yourself or whoever you like to similarly loan schedule serial number date beginning principal balance principal paid interest paid ending principal balance this is a pie chart of the interest versus the principal this is the graph of various balances ending principal balance interest paid principal paid cumulative interest paid and cumulative uh, principal paid and you can actually change the start date of the loan payment if you like okay loan comparison you can compare two or more loans so okay let's say five year term five percent this is the first loan we added six years six percent we added that now you calculate what we see this is the net result of comparison then payment graph how the payments compare this is the total payments versus total interest how they compare car leads so MSRP is uh, 24,600 say the base cap cost that is the negotiated price is 23,000 and say uh, down payment uh, there is a trade in credit 5,000 and say a residual percentage is 60 percent on the lease money fact let's say nine percent lease term is 36 months so now let us calculate the lease payment okay this is the lease payment so now let us say we know the lease payment we would like to understand what is the interest that we are being charged on or money factor we are charged on okay so that's what we received 9% okay so leads versus buy so again uh, 24,600 and this is 23,000 this is the negotiated price and your trade in value is 5,000 and you have a residual value of uh, 60% say is three percent loan and the money factor is uh, nine percent interest so 36 months okay this is how they compare monthly payments loan versus lease this is actually total payments okay so hybrid break-even point this one actually allows us to calculate the unit fuel price or miles driven at which a hybrid and non-hybrid car will break even 37,000 sorry uh, 
let us calculate the gas price first or fuel price for us. So thirty thousand tax incentive or hybrid fuel efficiency forty five, fuel efficiency thirty two, miles driven so twelve thousand say one, two, three, four and five. So now we're gonna add maintenance fee. So five hundred this is seven hundred one two three four and five. So discount rate is say five percent. Now we want to calculate the fuel price. And this is this is what it is. So now let us say we clear up all these and say fuel price we supply four dollars MSRP is uh, thirty seven thousand that one thirty thousand tax incentive is two thousand fuel efficiency is forty five and thirty two again miles driven we want to calculate actual maintenance car is thousand and this is seven hundred one two three four five so discount rate is five percent and we want to calculate the miles driven so this is how many miles we have to drive for them to break even so what if analysis so if three of the four variables principal loan term interest rate and payment are supplied it will calculate the fourth one five year and four percent so 835.42 so you want to calculate loan term this you want to calculate so we know the loan term we want to calculate the interest this is also calculate so we know all that so you want to calculate the principal this is how we calculate okay with this we just covered auto loan blackberry application auto loan amortization comparison leads leads versus buy and hybrid break even point thank you Home Finance BlackBerry application covers affordability, amortization, APR, balloon payment, comparison, cost, duration, qualification, and what if analysis. Affordability. Income is 100,000 monthly, debt payment is 500, down payment is 100,000, uh, property tax rate is 3%, and home insurance is 0.3%. And interest rate is five percent. Let's see what we get. So we are uh, saying that uh, home value is three fifty three thousand, loan value, monthly payment and interest, property tax, then down payment uh, and loan to value and loan amount. Okay, how much of a loan can we obtain based on the income? So amortization purchase price is down payment is. 20,000% uh, we can also specify actual dollar amount then closing cost is 15,000 insurance is uh, 1500 and home we don't have a home insurance homeowners association fee to pay but uh, property tax is 15,000 um, say interest rate is 5.375% payment start date is today so this is the okay monthly payment okay down payment is 20 percent closing cost insurance association fees annual property tax okay sorry we okay 30 years now let's see okay we have all the details and then we have uh, loan schedule Accommodation schedule. This is a pie chart, and this is a graph. Okay. Loan APR say five seventy five thousand. Loan term is thirty years. Interest rate is five point five percent, and point is one percent, and the closing cost is fifteen thousand. In that case, this is what the APR is. Balloon payment say five seventy five thousand. Down payment is uh, twenty percent. Closing cost is fifteen thousand. Loan term is uh, 30 years, interest rate is uh, 5375 extra payment is 200 and value payment after 
five years. So see, this is the monthly amount, balloon payment, this much how to pay, and then the schedule. Okay. Okay. Comparison. You can compare two or more loans. So here, loan term is uh, 30 years and 5%. Uh, Other that, loan term is uh, 20 years and 4%. Uh, so we add that. Now we calculate. So comparison, payment graphs, total payment versus total interest. Now loan cost, so 575,000, loan term is uh, 25, 30 years, total interest is 5.5, uh, 5. APR is 5.375, we want to find out the cost, and that's the cost involved. Duration, so how long will it take us to pay off the loan, 575,000, down payment is uh, 20%, closing cost is 16,000, say interest rate is 5%, loan term say is 30 years, but we are making some extra payment. So it tells us that reduction in term is 4.5. So now we delete all that and uh, loan term is here, payment is um, 500 okay, per month and now see so the loan term is this, okay? Now qualification. Monthly principal plus 2,000 bucks, uh, property tax annual is 15,000, insurance is 1,500, monthly debt payment is 200,000, and property price is five, say 400,000, down payment is, okay, now let's calculate. So this is what we get. This is the qualifying income. What if analysis we can calculate one of the four variables when three are supplied and five years, 30 years, and say five percent? That's the payment. So 3086.72. So we want to calculate the interest rate. We found that. We have interest rate. We want to calculate the duration. Okay. So we want to calculate the principal amount, that's what we get. Okay. With this we covered affordability, amortization, APR, balance payment, comparison, cost, duration, qualification, and what if analysis. Thank you. College Finance Blackberry application allows the user to consolidate and amortize student loans, compare student loans, and perform what if analysis. Amortization and consolidation. Let's say one loan amount is 70,000 at 5%. Uh, say we consolidate that. So we add another loan at uh, 60,000 and at 6.3%, uh, 2%. So now we have two loans. So now say we are going to pay it over 25 years and no extra payment. So term can be specified in months or years, payment frequency can be selected from here, and payment start date can also be specified. Let's say we calculate. This is the loan amount, monthly payment, long term, total of payments, total of interest, monthly payment. If you'd like to email the result to yourself or anybody else, so click on email result and schedule. Uh, this is the amortization schedule. This is the pi of the principal and interest and then this is the loan uh, balances over time. Now comparison and compare two or more loans say 37,000 uh, here loan term is 5 years and 5% 5 interest rate so that we want to compare against 6 years and 6% 6 interest rate and see how the, this is the summary graph of the comparison of two payments and this is the graph of the total payment versus total interest. So now, okay, what if analysis? This allows you to calculate one of the four variables when three other variables are supplied. Say principal is uh, 
37,005 is term and this is the interest this is the payment 664.84 say we supply that we want to understand what the interest rate is and that's what we want to find out what the loan term is and that's the loan term so we have all the data so we want to calculate what is the principal balance and that's what uh, we get so we just cover student loan consolidation and amortization comparison and what if analysis thank you